Hello everyone, this is Simple Math for you. And our lesson today is graphing systems of equations. أهلا بكم في Simple Math for you. اليوم هو رسم الأنظمة المعادلات والتي تتكون من معادلتين فقط. So today we are going to solve system of equations by graphing. Later on, we will study how to solve system of equations algebraically. الجبر بالحل. ولكن الآن now we will solve by graphing only. Before we start, let's understand what is the meaning of system of equation. ما معنى نظام المعادلات? A set of two or more equations with the same variables is called a system of equations. Let's say that we have an equation like 2x plus 3y equals to 6, and we have another equation like y equals 5x minus 1, any equation, then we will have here two equations. Each equation includes two variables, x and y. And we have here two equations will be solved together. We are going to solve both equations simultaneously. نقوم بحل المعادلات آنيا مع بعضهما البعض. فكيف سيكون ذلك؟ The first lesson we are going to start with is graphing, solving by graphing. أول درس رح نستخدم حل بواسطة الرسم. And in this lesson, we are only going to solve linear equations. بس المعادلات الخطية فقط. لم لن نقوم برسم أي معادلة أخرى. فبالتالي, that's why we are going to have one of three possibilities. يعني we have here a line and we have here another line. So what are the possibilities? The possibilities will be as follows. So if you have systems of equation, any system, we have one of three possibilities. Possibility one, two, or three. First thing, you have first line and another line crossing. So in this case, they will have one solution. The solution is the common point, the shared point, which is shared by line number one and line number two. So we have here one solution. We might have the first line is exactly the same as the second line. The second line is lying on, عليه, coinciding, يتطابق معه. So in this case, if you look at the solution or the common points, you will have millions of common points. And that's why we say here we have عدد لا نهائي, infinitely many solutions. So we might have one solution. حل واحد أو infinitely many solution عدد لا نهائي من الحلول أو we can have this case and in this case as you see and very clear the lines are parallel متوازيان لا يلتقيان أبدا they will never meet so in this case we will say there is no solution Now, after that, you might be asked to classify these, uh, these uh, solutions. Classify the system. So when you classify to some system, you will classify them according to the solution. If you have one solution from any solution, one solution or infinitely many solution, then we can say that the system is consistent. متوافق. وإذا كان في infinitely many solution also it is consistent. متوافق. There is some توافق. There is some consistency between them. So the, the system is consistent if there is any solution. If you have one solution, then we call it independent. مستقل. Each line is independent. It's not depending on the other one. While here, they are depending on each other. So we will say 
they are dependent. So here consistent and dependent. While in the case of no solution, the system is inconsistent and we are not going to classify more than that. You are not saying dependent or independent because there is no consistency. Inconsistent. So this is very important to know how to find the solution and how to, to, to classify the system of equations. Let's move on here. And let's apply our understanding. Use the graph to determine the number of solutions the system has. Then state whether the system equation uh, equations is consistent, inconsistent, if it is independent or independent. So let's see the first uh, question. Y equals X minus one. As you see, this is the line it's talking about. Y equals negative X plus one. So we are talking about this line and it is very clear that they are crossing each other, meeting at one point. That means we can say here one solution. The system is consistent. And independent. OK, let's choose another color to see the other systems. Question two, X minus Y equals to minus four. So we are talking about this line. Y equals X plus four. It is the same line. We are both talking about this line. So that means the lines are coinciding and we have infinitely many solutions and the system is consistent and dependent. Great. Let's move to the next question. When you have y equals x plus 4, y equals x plus 4 is this one, the purple one already. We have colored it. Let's highlight it now. This is y equals x plus 4. And 2x minus 2y equals to 2, which is this one. And it is very obvious. They are parallel lines. So since the lines are parallel, we say that there is no solution. They don't meet. And it is inconsistent. Question 4. We have here y equals to x minus 3, which is this one. Let's change the color. I think this is better. 2x minus 3, this one. And the other one, 2x minus 2y equals to 2, which is the one that we were talking about now. They are meeting at a point. That means there is one solution, and that means it is consistent and independent. Okay, great. So this was how to classify the systems if you have the graphs. It is very easy. Now let's go to the next step which we can determine the number of solutions and classify them without seeing the graphs. We are doing the same thing now, but no graphs are there. How can we do that? Actually, we will use the slope. Let's go back to that organizer that we have done here. If the lines are intersecting, assuming that this is the first line and this is the second line. So if the slope of the first line is not equal to the slope of the second line, irrespective of B, the Y intercept, then they should have one solution. They will meet anyway. If the slopes are different, then it will have definitely one solution, irrespective of B. So that means we need to write equations in the form of slope intercept. So y equals mx plus b should be in front of you so that you can find the m, find the b, find the slope, and find the y-intercept. And when you compare the slopes, 
وتجدهم مختلفان you find it different then it means that it has one solution let's see here if you have two lines and the first line have this has the same slope as the second and exactly the same b the same y intercept that means we are drawing the same line common sense and th that means they will definitely have infinitely many solution and the uh, uh, consistency and dependent will be very clear for the third case if you have the first slope is is exactly the same as the second stop nafsil mail but different b because they will cross the y-axis at different locations different points and that means the lines will be parallel and we agreed that parallel lines are inconsistent have no solution so depending on this idea we can solve the rest of systems of equations so let's go here and start doing the same procedure. Since these equations are written in standard form or different form than the slope intercept form, we need to rewrite the equation. So for the first equation, I have to solve for y. So I will shift the x to the other side. It will be minus 6y equals minus 4x plus 12. And I want y alone. I'm solving for y. So I divide all sides by negative 6. So y equals negative goes with negative. Simplify. Please simplify. You need to be careful because if you compare the wrong ones, you will have wrong answer. 4 divided by 2, 2. 6 divided by 2, 3. So it's 2 over 3x. And 12 divided by minus 6 is negative 2. So in this equation we have the slope is 2 over 3 and the y intercept is negative 2. Now for the second one which is that one I will do the same thing I'll shift the negative 2x there I will use another color so 3y equals 2x minus 6 and I will divide by 3 to solve for y. Obviously we have 2 over 3x minus 2 that means here we have slope for the second line is 2 over 3 and my y-intercept is negative 2. Compare your findings. Pardon. Slopes are exactly the same. These are the same. So we are drawing the same line. That means here we have infinitely many solutions and that means we have consistent and dependent system okay great let's move to the next question i will do the same thing here so Solving for y. Slope. Y intercept. Okay, equation number two. Negative 5y equals 5x plus 5 divided by minus 5. So y is minus 1x minus 1. So slope is minus one. This is the second one. And the second slope is minus one. Second y-intercept, I mean. Compare. You will find that slope one is not equal to slope two. No need to compare the b's. So we have one solution directly. By the way, even if the b's are the same, even if they have the same y-intercept, then we have one solution. So it is consistent and independent system. Perfect. Question three, without doing anything, it is ready for us in slope intercept form. This is negative three over two. This is 
negative 2 over 3. Slopes are not the same. However, V1 is equal to V2, but we don't care. So we have one solution. And it is consistent and independent. This is for your information. Like, like for example, this is the five. One of the lines will have negative slope and the other one will have positive slope and they are crossing at the same point. So however, they have the same y intercept, but they are meeting at one point. So we have one solution only. And here we are, we have different, little bit different here. What is the slope here? What is the slope of this line? Remember, we have studied this before. When you have y equals to a constant, y equals just a number, no x is there, no x. So that means what? That means the slope is zero. It's a horizontal line. A horizontal line. If you want to check how to look, uh, the graph look like, it is. It means that it is at minus three, and it is crossing the minus three horizontally. This is your line. Y equals minus three. Slope is zero. What is the y-intercept? Y-intercept is negative three. Here, it is crossing the y-axis here. If you want to rewrite it, it will be like zero x plus negative three. This is the slope-intercept form. Just to remember, for the second line, you have slope is one. There is nothing here, means one, one X. And B2 is minus three. Comparing slopes are different, though the Y-intercept is the same, but we don't care. So we have one solution. That one will look like this. So you should expect that there is one solution, there is an intersection. That means the system is consistent, متواف, consistent and independent, مستقل. And that's all for part one. And see you in part two, when we graph and find the solution from the graphing. نلتقي في الجزء الثاني حيث نرسم الخطوط ونجد الحل من الشكل. شكرا جزيلا. Thank you very much. See you then. إلى اللقاء.